Hey everybody, welcome back to more of the Jedi Knight playthrough. In the last video, we went ahead and, um, went to Ord Mantell, did the stuff in Ord Mantell, found out some information, and now we gotta go to Taurus, which we're actually flying outside of Taurus right now in our lovely new ship, and, uh, I just need to use the ship's hollow terminal to talk to, uh, whoever's going on. Sorry, I have the yawns again, man. I have the yawns again, I'm sorry. General. I'm on Terrace. You seemed worried about this place after Ord Mantell. What's the big mystery you wouldn't reveal? I apologize for the secrecy, but this involves someone the Empire would love to get its hands on. Angral's son, Tarnas, was the lead scientist on our advanced warfare projects. But these technologies were all invented by Dr. Nassan Godera. Dr. Godera is a genius. Calculates targeting algorithms in his head for fun. Since I'm on Terrace, I assume he must be too. Correct. But the situation is... complicated. Dr. Godera hates the Empire. So much so he quit in protest when the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant. Disappeared completely. We recently discovered he's hiding on Terrace. But the swamps, predators, and city ruins are keeping us from finding him. City ruins? There's no civilization here? Your masters never taught you about the Jedi Civil War? Three hundred years ago, there was a conflict between two fallen Jedi named Revan and Malak. Malak obliterated Terrace, hoping to kill Revan. Billions of innocent people died. What a desolate place to hide. Gadara probably figured it's the last place we'd look for him. The Republic is recolonizing Terrace. Recently, we found evidence that our missing doctor has been here for years. Reconnaissance discovered one of Gadara's outposts in the swamp. It's entirely automated. Nothing but droids inside. And they're not cooperating. If the doctor isn't there, what do the droids at this outpost do? We think Godera has several facilities. The droids are caretakers in his absence. I've had people scouring Taras for other outposts. The survivors returned empty-handed. After what you learned on Ord Mantell, we need that man's expertise. You're our best shot at finding Dr. Godera. I'll bring him back alive, whatever it takes. I left a small team monitoring the outpost. They'll aid your search. Transmitting outpost coordinates. Good luck. Our Suthra, out. Alright, I got this, I guess. Oh, oh, also, yeah, wow, I can't even talk. Also, I changed the color of Eltrix's lightsabers to this! They're blue! They are blue! Hold on. I want to see something real quick, though. Because, um, I was looking at a picture of something. That's not it. That's not what I wanted to look at. Uh, Alliance packs. I think it's like the newest scavengers pack. Uh, no? Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I have the yawns. Like, it's really bad. Ooh. Send his lightsaber, that's coming to the next pack. I am so excited! I mean, look at that. <laughs> that's definitely gonna be like a platinum item. There's no way you're gonna be able to have the lightsaber pike. Um, that easily. Uh, what was I trying to say? Basically, I saw a chest piece of this where... It was basically the same chest piece, except minus like the, the uh... The shoulder pads, the pauldrons or whatever, I guess. Uh, and it had like a little hood coming off of it, and I'm hoping that eventually makes its way into the game, because I, I like this outfit. My biggest problem is quite literally this part on the shoulders right here. <laughs> so, I mean, if you had something covering that up, or like a hood, oh, it'd be perfect. And I don't know why I have to yawn so bad today, I just do. I just do, I don't know why. Stop yawning. Does anybody know how to stop yawning? I'm running into that problem just, like all the time now. I just yawn and yawn and yawn and yawn. I'll be honest though, I had a hard time actually getting into the mood rec uh, to record because I'm honestly not in the best recording mood. I'm like, eh, eh, feeling rather lazy. I start up the new job today because that's when it comes out, but technically it's tomorrow. So I'm just like relaxing before I start up the new job. And I'm just like... I don't know man, I don't even know. <sighs> not in the, like I'm not feeling super motivated to record, but I don't really care. I'll do it anyways, right? Oh, also someone was wondering. I, I feel I'll, I'll address this, I guess. Someone was wondering why Kira's wearing black. Because they were saying it makes her look like a Sith. First of all, it doesn't exactly make her look like a Sith. I guess 
I mean, the clothing itself kind of does. Kind of. Um, but, I mean, Eltrix is, did that not apply? That didn't, okay, there we go. Eltrix was wearing black for a while, right? Black and brown, like, just because you can't see the brown on this doesn't mean, you know, he was wearing mostly black for a long time. Now it's, like, mostly white, but that's just because it's armor. Um, you're not the story I'm looking for. That's right, because I want to do the uh, main story, and Taurus is the first planet in which we'll be doing the planetary story as well, so we're getting a little bit of the best of both worlds in terms of that. And so I think it starts here. Looks like. Feels like we're standing on an open grave. Feels like I'm just too close to love you. God, that's stupid. Right, anyways, hey, what's up, man? We've been waiting weeks, and those things are still swarming our property while you sorry excuses for defenders of the Republic sun yourself on the base. This is a military operation, sir. This planet hasn't been cleared for civilian occupancy. My brother didn't mean to be insulting, but for three centuries, our family has dreamt of reclaiming our place on Terrace, and now to be stopped by those things. It never looks good to see a Republic soldier refusing aid to one of his own. Not true, sir. Helping them not to get killed. That's aid, right? Terrace is our home. We're not going to wait until the army takes its pick of the planet and then throws us the scraps. The Republic validated our records, but some outlaws set up a camp there. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. You need something dangerous cleared out first? It's not Raghuls or anything. There's someone living there. Sentience. They've got security droids all around the perimeter. It's a war zone. We almost got killed entering our own property. The Republic will respond to all such claims of hostile non-indigenous life forms based on strategic value. After so long, you should not be kept from your home. See? Listen to the Jedi. He knows we're the rightful owners. You want to explore? You look like you can handle it, but it's your choice. Would you really be willing to take such a risk for us? Your claim seems just. Great. They're all yours, then. You find anything important, you can fill out a form at HQ. All we need is to get those blasted droids cleared out and find out who's controlling them. I can handle the rest. All right, I guess I got this. I'm not filling out that form at HQ, though. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. I am not filling out that form. No way. <laughs> uh, that's this. Okay. Search the estate. So, oh, these are like right next to each other. That's perfect. That is perfect. 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 Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to use the, the mechanized travel. There's really no point to it, I don't think. Ooh, I'm thinking maybe I'll change my, uh, mount too, because, like, maybe I'll switch the... <sighs> Sorry, the, uh, Cavern Vractal. Maybe. Hey, look, Rekuls. Hey, guys! How's it feel to be, I think, was it, aren't these, like, previous residents of Terrace or something like that? Wow, I can't even come up with, like, or stick with my normal, uh... Yep. I can't even talk. See, this is why I wasn't exactly in the mood to record, because I know I can't speak properly right now. Like, uh, I've been well-rested and everything. I don't know why I'm yawning and stuff. But, uh... I had a... Sorry, that was a really young lawn. Uh, what? Young lawn? Okay, that's cool. Long yawn. Um, for some reason, I wasn't able to sleep for, like, 48 hours. Like, I tried my best to try to sleep and, like, lay down and stuff, and I just couldn't fall asleep, and I don't know why. Um, and then I finally got the rest, and I'm awake now, and I think I slept too much is probably why I'm yawning. Or something. I don't know. But I went ahead and gave Eltrix this, uh, new lightsaber colors. Uh, just because I think the lighter blue actually fits with this gear better. And I wanted to give Kira a blue lightsaber too, and I think what I'm using are the... Please tell me I'm using the right ones. I'm using the advanced farmhand blue Hawkeye crystals, which increases your power, which means DPS is going to be a lot better, so... Uh, that's what I'm using. I got those off of the GTN, if people are wondering, because people seem to... Like, I don't know how, because like, I always explain it, right? But people never seem to understand where you get the, the armor sets from. You either get it from the cartel market, or if you can't afford stuff on the cartel market. Why did my cartel coins just get spent? What? 
What is going on? I have no idea what's going on. All of a sudden, I just don't have cartel coins. Okay. Um, hey. Ooh, there's a security chest. I had like... The other day, I had like 200 of them. Oh, there we go. It was just a glitch. But, and then all of a sudden, I had like 113 of them or something like that. Like this. And then it said zero. So I'm guessing that was just a glitch. Thank God. Hold. My people are refugees. Survivors of the battle on Coruscant. Would you turn us out of yet another home? The owners have been waiting centuries to return here. So many men are here to reclaim this planet who know nothing of its past. Ancient Taurus was a blight on the Republic. The black mark on its reputation for freedom. As far as I know, it was some outer rim nothing until the Empire blew it up. Humans on Taurus did as they do on all planets. They seized the surface, claimed Taurus's wealth, and forced every other species underground. Every meter of land owned by a human was probably seized from another species, just as this was seized from my ancestors. I have their documents. So old they were kept in printed form. Read them yourself if you doubt me. Every person should be judged on their own merit. The Jedi Order has always understood that. If you have any sympathy for our cause, perhaps there is something you can do? We are alone and at the Republic's mercy. I would not wish to see you turned away from your home. I thank you for softening your heart to my story. I will tell my people to begin repairs on our droids. Okay, oh, so now I gotta return to them and be like, Hey, yo, uh, someone's living here. Uh, I know this is your property and all, but uh, it's not your property anymore. <laughs> That's the role I'm playing as. As a Jedi Knight. Um, we got more Jedi Knights here, okay. Oh, it's a legendary player, someone who's finished all the stories. I haven't finished all the stories in all the time I've played the game, which is weird. But I haven't done it. And now, we've got to meet with General Vor Sutra's troops. And there are Imperial troops here, so that's highly unlikely that we're going to run into those guys. I'm just going to say that right now. We're probably not running into those guys. I'm just going to drop down. I'm not losing too much health. Although, falling down on an elevator going up was probably a dumb idea. All right. It's time for this guy to go down. Sorry, Shadow Commando. I will destroy everyone here. Oh, that was... Okay. I thought that was going to take a... I'm still used to um, Kira being on healing, so like I'm not used to these fights going as quickly as they do. You know what I mean? I'm used to these taking a lot longer. Especially the ones with like the elite fighters. Those ones go down so fast now. Or the, I guess they're champions now? Champions or elites? No, elites and champions. They just, they go down so easy now. And it's just like, oh, okay. Okay. I mean, obviously there are moments where I need to have Kira on healing. We all know that, all right? I gotta have a healer sometimes, because sometimes there are just too many enemies and all well, those situations, but... I mean, hey. She's gonna kick some butt. I'm gonna let her kick some butt, dude. Like, oh my gosh. I remember when there weren't, like, companion roles and they only did certain things, right? Where certain companions were healers and whatnot. Um, were, like, you know? Because back in the back in the day, Kira was a, uh, a combat companion anyways, so it's, it makes sense to have her on damage, right? Or she would like she would do DPS anyways, and or I think she, maybe she would tank. No, she'd probably just do damage anyways. I'm pretty sure that's how that went. I don't know. Back then, back when I was a boy. <clears throat> Sorry, let me get my old man um, thing going on. Back when I was a boy, Kara Carson couldn't do any of these yelling nonsense. Probably not a good old man thing. Oh, also there's double XP going on. I totally forgot to mention that, and that goes. I think until the end of the year, or, uh, I don't know, we've got 1,837 hours left of it, so we've got plenty of time for double XP. That's enough bloodshed. Let's be professional about this. I am Watcher 1 with Imperial Intelligence. 
Those men you fought served me. Your agents slaughtered Republic citizens. That's an act of war. On the contrary, it was self-preservation. Despite what General Varsuthra believes, I have known about this outpost for some time. Your imminent arrival forced me to take action. My mission is to protect the Empire from Dr. Gadara's weapons. I'm afraid I can't let you have him. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Imperial intelligence prides itself on accurate threat assessment. I've known you were coming, analyzed your strengths and weaknesses in preparation. You defeated the fallen Jedi, Bengal Moore, to become a knight. You're an exemplar of your order. Either this guy reads minds, or he's got spies on Tython. He's trying to get under our skin, make us paranoid. Your mental state is immaterial to the situation. As fortune would have it, Dr. Gadara will be in my custody shortly. You've already failed. The Force is with me. I'll find Dr. Gadara, and you. I see my reinforcements are finally in position. Terminate him. Oh, hi there. Hi. hi how are you? How are you doing? Oh, you're not doing good? You're dead? Oh, that's a problem. It's a bit of a problem. It's alright, I got tissues for your issues. Oh, hey, Mr. Joy, dude, what's up? Let me heal up real quick. Blasted imps. Death is too good for them. Thank you for liberating this facility. Good riddance to imp scum. They were living beings. I took no pleasure in their deaths. The imps received what they deserved. I will shed no fluids in their memory. My condition <coughs> is REM0. Dr. Gadara assigned me to this facility. Excuse me. Primary function? Enemy surveillance. The facility was compromised when Republic cowards arrived on Terrace, and again by these imps scum. Why do you call the Republic cowards? These people died defending you. Republic cowards surrendered to the Empire many years ago. These deaths do not alter that fact. My programming forbids cooperation with non gadera life forms, except under extreme circumstances. That criteria is now met. Watcher 1 reprogrammed this facility's tracking relays. He traced Dr. Gadara's encrypted bioscan to its present location. If it worked for Watcher 1, it'll work for us. The imp scum destroyed the central computer, hoping to prevent this. I must repair it while you reset the outdoor tracking relays. I will provide you with the tracking relay's coordinates, but be advised, the outdoors are dangerous. You fix the computer, and I'll reset the tracking relays. Jedi were never included in Dr. Gadara's Republic Coward designation. Now I comprehend why. Commencing computer repairs. Contact me when all tracking relays are reset. Then we can triangulate Dr. Gadara's location. If you encounter any imp scum, please annihilate them. How you handle Republic cowards is your discretion. Good luck, Jedi. Okay, cool. Well, um, probably seems very stupid to end it here, but I'm gonna end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you should subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm gonna do some uh, vocal exercises and whatnot and try to wake myself up some more. Uh, stop the whole yawning and stuff so I can record some more videos, but uh, I apologize that this one was kind of trash in terms of commentary. I sneezed during that last cutscene, so I mean there's that too. Uh, next time we'll reactivate the tracking relays and then return to Reli or Relis Poe so that we can continue on with uh, both stories. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video, as always, to be continued.